Okay, this is Lewis Katz, and we are in the studio with the uh, Shapeoko router table, the uh, X-Carve router table. Here's a picture of the X-Carve. And we're trying to get set up and do all the setup tasks today for the X-Carve. Uh, in order to get things going, you have to turn on the X-Carve. On the back side of the X-Carve, there's a place for a USB cable that plugs into your computer. It should already be plugged into the X-Carve power supply box. In the middle here, there's a power switch. You can't see it very easily. It's the switch to turn on the power supply. On the end, there's one that says spindle. That turns on the router. That turns on the machine to start cutting. We don't need that on yet. It makes a bunch of noise. Sounds like this. It's supposed to sound like that. Right now, it's not sounding like anything. Okay. Not sure why, but maybe that will become apparent as we set things up. Uh, maybe it doesn't let you turn it on until you're ready to, to, uh, to cut. Okay, so we've got that. You might have to find a, a bit to put in the end of the spindle. The spindle takes only eighth inch diameter shanks, and if you try and put in something that's the wrong size, it won't work. And you'll ruin the spindle. Um, the, um, the chuck in there is not a regular chuck. It only takes one size diameter bit. And we have bits, so there shouldn't be a problem with that. Here's two wrenches on there. If you want to change them, it takes two wrenches. You don't have to crank it down till it's really, really, really tight. Uh, if you do, then you're doing something wrong and you'll ruin it. So please don't do that. Okay. So you get your machine so it'll work. You get Inventables up and you get easel.inventables.com up. And if you haven't run it before, it's going to want you to run a, uh, install a piece of software that allows you <coughs> to communicate with the Arduino controller that makes this whole thing go. The machine that we have, you want to set it up. You see here it's set to 31 inches by 31 inches. That's the maximum size it will cut. This machine is an X-Carve. We also have a Shape Oco. You can enter the size of your bit up there. Here it says Setup Machine. Okay, so the machine type that we have is an X-Carve. I also have a Shape Oco. The rail size is a thousand millimeters, which is a meter by a meter. Yeah, and our lead screw on this machine is an Acme. The spindle is a 24 volt spindle. We want to confirm the settings. It says plug your machine in. You should hear all the uh, motors go kathunk at some point. There it is. So now you want to test the wiring. And uh, if you're facing from the front of the machine, you're facing the spindle, the X this way moves to the right and this one moves to the left. You want to make sure you don't run it into the end. It's working correctly, so I'm going to press yes. This one moves back towards away from you. This one moves towards you. That's working. The Z, this is up, and this is down. They all work right, and they should press continue. If they don't, we need some help from me. Uh, I use manual spindle control. Otherwise, it turns the spindle on and off for you. And uh, currently, our limit switches aren't working, but you can say enable homing and it will work. It gets goofed up. I have no idea what the problem is. We don't want to run the test carve. If you don't want to run the test carve, and you probably don't, go back. Find the carve that you do want to run and press carve. Okay. Hey, what happened there? Carve. Okay, it says start the homing cycle. It's not going to go very far if you just ran that thing. And then what we want to do is we want to confirm the material thickness. And that requires getting out our
micrometers. And if you remember from our thing, the micrometers can only be stored in their case. Please do not put the micrometers anywhere but in the case or in your hands. And then to tell the material thickness, uh-oh, I don't have any material here. You set your material down. You get it all clamped down and stuff. And then you use this little thing at the end of the micrometer and it'll stick out. And then it'll tell you the thickness. There it is, 0 .339 inches. If it's not coming out in inches, you want it millimeters, press there. If it doesn't read right, you want to make sure it says zero there. If it's not zero, close it all the way and press the zero function. When you get done with it, turn it off, put it back in the case, right? Okay. Cool. Treat the tools right, and they'll try and treat you right. Okay. So you can confirm the material thickness. And if you've got your material glued down on a spacer, and it's a half of an inch, the spacer is another half of an inch, well then if you say 0 .06 inches, it won't cut into the table. So you want to make sure you got that all worked out nice and clear. You confirm the material thickness. Clamp down the material. You say the material is secure. You tell them what bit you're using. Okay, and you confirm the bit size. Then you lower the bit down to the surface of your material. So we need some material here. I'm going to use some soft material just so we can do this. You want to get, the, get this to your zero, zero point. So I need to move it up. Right now it's set to, oh, that's Y, that's a way, up. Okay, right now it's set to a tenth of an inch. I want it to move an inch at a time because I need to move a long ways. So let me get this up and running. And then we can move the machine towards us. I think this will work. Maybe it'll, it'll disappear. Oh well, too bad. Get it to wherever you want your zero, zero point to be. And then start moving it down. And you want to be really careful. Right now it's set to an inch. It's really easy to bury this tip into your material or to break it off at this point. So you want to make sure that you don't do that. Right? Right, so I set it to a tenth of an inch, and I'm going to move it down. OK. And then I can set it to 0 0.01 inch, and I'm really close here. And when I get a little bit close, when I get right where I need to be, I can set it to a hundredth of an inch or a thousandth of an inch and move it down. And what I want to do is I want to be able to slip a piece of paper out from underneath there, but I want it to be kind of snug. So I confirm my home position. Then it says raise the bit. This raises it to the safety height. I make sure the spindle is on. Yeah, that's what the spindle sounds like. The spindle is on. When I press start carving, it will start carving. Okay. If you have to pause it, you can pause it. If you cancel it, it should turn, come back to your zero, zero point, X and Y, but at the safety height. So it'll be above the material so you can get the material out. And that's how you get the machine set up to carve. Thank you.